In a new season and, and playing this arena represents a new era. Um, you know, I knew it would be a major challenge and one of the reasons why you play Notre Dame uh, as opposed to somebody who you know you think that you're better than can be is because you want to you know give your fan base and, and those uh, that are interested an opportunity to see you know what what we are and what we can be so I'm, I'm disappointed uh, you know because our uh, our city um, MPA and, and especially our university you know father Dennis and new president dr. Esteban and Jeannie and everybody who's put a ton of time and effort into making this day possible and making it a reality. I'm, I'm upset because we couldn't give you know a little bit more than we should. But you know that being said, I knew you know this version of Notre Dame uh, is is a very difficult one to beat. Not because they've got six first round draft pro choices, but because they have a mentality and you know they you know Farrell and and Colson especially you know, they play. 10, 15 years beyond their years, you know, mentally. And, you know, for what we were struggling in the first half to kind of get and accomplish offensively and missing point bank layups and, and shots that we've made throughout the, the preseason, we missed and it caused enough frustration where over time they smelled it out. And to their credit, they took advantage of it. Probably about 12 or 13 minute mark of, of the first half, they slowed their offense down. You know, just kind of walked into some, some uh, uh, opportunities to kind of work the clock a little bit and and we responded enough we talked about it in our preparation that you know they do it and they're going to get 22 23 24 seconds and then boom you know play off of that hope that you have shut your mind down a little bit and then come after you and boom and, you know guys like Gibbs uh, and 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 uh, other players were the recipients of of drawing second defenders and those kind of things so you know, the game itself uh, is a learning experience, something we'll look at tonight and tomorrow and prepare for Monday. Uh, but at the same point in time, you know, I was, was hoping against hope that, um, you know, for, for everybody that's put this day together, that we'd, we'd uh, give, give everybody a better, better opportunity to see us win. Yeah, you know, and basketball, a lot of different sports, it's it's about this much, you know, and we weren't, and I told them before the game, with all the pageantry, we're either going to start off quick or we're going to start off slow. And when either one of those happens, we've got to settle in. And I don't know that we settled in for the first 20 minutes. And then when we came out, we had opportunities to kind of get that back. And that play was a microcosm of a mentality that we had, you know, most of the night, that we were, we were this much off in our, in our understanding and our belief of each other. And so things as simple as that, you know, you don't, first of all, if, if you made a great steal, as Devin did, then you reward yourself by going lay it up and in. Okay, that's 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 what good players, good teams do. We've seen it a million times. Uh, but for other plays that we didn't make, you know, the more uh, that frustration grew as a result of plays like that, the more one pass shot, no pass shot that we saw because we were trying to make up ground, you know, in one possession. If they start making threes in that second half, how difficult then does it become for you guys just to defend them? Well, you know, I, I think they made threes because they, again, as I said, they slowed the game down and, and we got lethargic. We stopped pressuring the ball. We got lower in our gaps. Uh, and, and, you know, when guys like Farrell, or even Fluga put the ball on the floor, it drew a second defender too late. So it affected our help and recovery. So now you had guys open for, for threes that weren't there in the first 20 minutes. And, you know, they, uh, Mike, is is in his what 16th or 17th year at Notre Dame for a reason because there's no panic in him there's no panic in them and you know when they've won over a long period of time they understand that those are the things that happen if you stay the course you know um we talked about it after the game that you know I think we've done a reasonably good job of trying to change the culture here uh, trying to put good people in places to do good things. But as I've said all, all summer long and into this year, our, our, you know, our job, the most difficult part of our job is yet to come because there's nobody uh, that we have that has a background at this level that's won a ton of games. 
uh, cut down nets, understands the difference between sacrifice and all the things that go into winning. And so uh, when that can happen and the belief, you know, that word faith that we talk about and something that you can't see, can't tell you don't have it in your back pocket that's where we've got to be able to to get to and um you know the, the schedule is going to be unkind and, and we're going to play teams that are going to force us to either believe in that or not believe in that and we've got to you know stay the course we've got to be solid in in our principles and and sooner rather than later it will it will come to pass how much do you think max was pressing out there today? yeah you know i i think like all of our guys you know Marin pressed Max Press, Eli Press, early, and again, when you when you uh, judge, and this is not just for Max, for everybody. If if you make a great defensive play, box out and rebound, that is that is great. Is it as great as you making a, a jump shot? You know, and if you make a jump shot, it, it makes everything in the world better. And the reverse is true. You know, you make plays, and that ninety five percent of the time that you play, you don't have the basketball in your hands. If you look and focus on that 95%, that 5% becomes easy. And I thought, you know, Max pressed in that a little bit as well as, as other guys. I think almost everybody did. How did the, I mean, the result wasn't what you wanted, but how did the atmosphere match? Did you think more thought about it? You know, this is, this, is, this is how we envision it. You know, this is how we envision it. And, and uh, you know, as, as I said all along, you, you can go back as far back as anybody could possibly remember. And DePaul has, has had its place in this city, uh, basketball-wise, for a long period of time, and the names are the names, and the games have been the games, and you know we we would made this commitment in all fronts for a reason, so that we can give ourselves the best chance to to get back to that place. It's been a long time since the ball to Paul has been relevant in college basketball, and and you know, we're, we're as I joked yesterday to somebody, we're, we're we're there are days where we're this close, and then there are other times where this far away, and so. Uh, when that's the when that's the case, you just have to you know stay the course, believe in the the principles of anything that becomes successful, and keep you know forging ahead. Do you think Gage's mindset was different you know today versus last season? Yeah, tremendously. You know, I think he's a different person. Um, you know, I think his if you look at him, his body's different, uh, his opportunity is different, but it's because he's been he's got a different a different belief system and. You know, it's it's hard, and there are other guys going through it now. When you come into a program, you have certain levels of expectation, and the people around you feed into those expectations. You know, the, the the biggest talent a guy can have when he goes from high school to college is experience. Well, he lacks that. So how do you make up for that? You know, it takes time for some and, and not as much time for others. So Devin got caught in a situation last year. We played behind Billy. It was a lot of frustration. You know, I was on him a lot, uh, but he persevered. You know, he had a decision to make, and he chose the right decision to stay with things, and that's what life is about. And you know, he'll 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 continue to benefit from it because he's bought into this process, and this process is going to reward him. You know, not not before the game or during the game, but you know, yesterday especially, I've spent you know, a lot of times last couple of days here, uh, and I reflected back to the 22 months ago when we were standing over here in Cermak in Indiana with with uh, about half a dozen guys with blue sweatsuits on, and we were, we were groundbreaking, you know, and all the times we were across the street at McCormick Place and looking inside of this 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 uh, bowl and seeing construction underway and seeing the process and uh, you know. Uh, the many, many, many people that have put this together, you know, uh, everybody from DePaul, and, and I keep saying Jeannie's name because she's, you know, she's phenomenal because as an athletic director, she does everything internally, she does everything externally, and then she took on this project over the last three or four or five years, uh, which you could, one person can't do that, and she's led the charge. Uh, and then our administration, people that, you know, are too many to name. Then you talk about, you know, the city and, Mayor Emanuel's commitment to basketball in the city, and then you talk about MPA as a partner, and uh, all the things and people that have had a hand. You know, uh, uh, every time we've come in here, we recruit. They've left feeling like this is a special place, and so there are f many more names that I could ever mention that have had a hand in putting this together. And uh, that's what I said at the beginning. It's it's disappointing to me because I, I want to make sure that their work 
is rewarded. And the only way that I can do that is to have our team play well every night and win our fair share of games. And so, um, you know, we, we want to make this into a very, very fun and exciting place to be so that people uh, know that if they're not here, they're missing something very good.